we're going to use a four-step solving process to investigate this. So first, we need to state what we're trying to estimate. So in this problem, we're going to assume that the true proportion of males between 18 and 24 that still live with their parents is 0.59. If that's true, what's the probability that a sample of 10 random males would yield 8 or more males who still live with their parents? We're going to use simulation to investigate. Next, we're going to come up with a plan. So in our plan step, we're going to describe our simulation. We're going to simulate many samples of size 10 using a random number generator. We're going to use the randint function on the calculator. We'll generate 10 random integers at a time from 1 to 100, and we're going to let 1 to 59 represent a male who lives with his parents, and 60 to 100 represent a male who does not live with his parents. For each repetition, we will count how many males lived with their parents, or really how many numbers were between 1 and 59. All right, so here's how you do the simulation. Start by pressing the math button, and then go over to probability. We're gonna go down to random int, random integer, and it says, what do you want for your lower limit? We'll choose one, and for upper limit, 100, and it says, how many numbers do you wanna generate? We want 10, since each of our samples needs to have 10 males in it. When I press enter on paste, and then enter again, here's my data. So I need to count how many males did not live with their parents, which means how many of these numbers are between 1 and 59. Looks like 29 is, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then you have to press over, 8. So 8 of our 10 numbers were between 1 and 59. So this simulation represents a random sample of 10 males where 8 still lived with their parents. Now we need to do this a lot of times. We call it doing many repetitions of our simulation. So let's set up a table to organize our data. So for each rep, we really just need to know was there 8 or more males who lived with their parents. So in our first sample, we had 8 numbers between 1 and 59. So I'm going to put yes. Now if you just press enter on your calculator, it will run the command again, and you can count again. So in this sample, it looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in this sample, we also had 8 or more. And we're just going to do a bunch of reps. Now in our fourth sample here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. We only have four numbers between 1 and 59. So this sample represents a random sample of 10 males where only four lived with their parents. So for rep four, we're going to put no. So we're going to perform 40 repetitions total. Now one thing you might be thinking about is what about repeated numbers? Like what if you get the same number generated twice in your list of random numbers? That's okay. We just want to make sure that each of our numbers has a 59% chance of being between 1 and 59. And it does. And that's going to correlate with our 59% chance that each male in the sample still lives with their parents. Okay, now that we've finished our 40 reps, let's look through and see how many of our samples of 10 random numbers had 8 or more numbers between 1 and 59. Our first three, 1, 2, 3... And we had one here, four, five, six, seven. So seven of our 40 repetitions resulted in eight or more numbers between one and 59. Now, before we move on to conclude, let me show you another way you can simulate. If you press the program button, you can write your own programs. So I'm gonna press edit and look at this program sim I wrote. All this program does is it generates 10 random numbers. It checks if the numbers are less than 60, so in other words, if they're between 1 and 59, and it counts how many of our 10 random numbers are between 1 and 59. And then it displays how many numbers were between 1 and 59. Let me add an extra little command here. Right here, I'm going to have it display the random number it's looking at. All right, I'm going to run the program. And here's the random numbers it's generating. And at the end, it counts how many of those numbers were between 1 and 59. So in this case, 5 of them. 
So it's just doing the same thing we did, except it's automating the counting at the end. This time we had seven numbers between 1 and 59. Now, if I go back to my program and I delete that one line I just added, it will run a little bit quicker. All right, so each time I press enter, it's running a simulation. So all I have to do is press enter and check if the number is at least eight, like it is right now. Now, if you're familiar with nested loops, you could actually automate this part of the process as well and run a large number of repetitions. So for our conclusion, we'll say in our 40 repetitions of our simulation, seven resulted in eight or more living with parents. Um, this is not a very low percentage. It's 17 and percent actually. So we don't have strong evidence from the recent surveys result, the eight out of 10 who said they lived with their parents, that this proportion has changed. It might in fact still be 59%. Because getting 8 out of 10 in a survey, if the true proportion is 59%, is not that rare. It apparently happens about 17.5% of the time, according to our simulation. Now, if you've already learned about the binomial distribution, you could calculate this without simulation. The exact answer is about 15.2%. So our simulation was pretty close. If you liked this video and you want to learn more about probability, especially if you're studying for the AP stats exam, check out this playlist. It covers many topics of probability that will help you for the exam.